Now talking about loose powders, I also picked out the Hourglass, what is this called? Translucent Setting Powder Veil. Uh, this is a mini version that I picked up because Hourglass is super, super expensive. So I just wanted to try out the mini one first. Packaging looks like very similar to that of the Laura Mercier one and the color is also pretty similar. Again, this is a translucent powder. The powder looks like on the inside. I've not used it yet. And let me just feel it. Oh wow. Feels super silky. More silkier than the Laura Mercier one. So I'm really waiting to use this powder on my skin. I'll let you know what I think about it. Feels extremely soft. Maybe I can just dust a little bit on the center of my cheek because I can see a little bit of a shine. Oh yeah, it is definitely adding that glow. It's not completely matte. It is setting my base, but it definitely adds a very soft sheen and it's not giving that mattified effect. I was really, really looking forward to buy the Tatcha um, Dewy Setting Spray, but that was also out of stock. So I picked out this liquid silk canvas, which is also very, very famous. By the way, look at the packaging. It is absolutely luxurious. I absolutely love a lavender color. And this is in a beautiful pastel lavender color with a um, shiny purple cap. It's got a nice pump on the inside. This is what I use underneath my base today. And it just fills in all the pores and creates a beautiful, smooth, even canvas. It's not very mattifying, so I think this can be applied on any skin type. It just creates that smooth, even canvas and just makes your makeup stick properly and helps your makeup last longer. It's that kind of a primer. It's a pretty decent bottle, so I think it'll last pretty well as well. Let's see. Definitely use this on my brides for sure. It's a really, really good uh, pore filling and smoothing kind of a primer. I also picked up one of my favorite Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundations. Now, I think this is a reformulated and relaunched version of the Ultra HD Liquid Foundation from Makeup Forever because I could not spot that particular foundation anywhere on the Makeup Forever counter in Sephora. I think this is the one um, that has been kind of reformulated and everything. So yeah, this is how the that's how the packaging looks like. The shade that I've got is called Y445 and it's a perfect perfect match for my skin tone so that is the shade y445 i've already got this foundation with me in the same shade and it is almost over only a tiny bit of it is left um, unfortunately these kind of deeper shades are not available in india in the makeup forever foundation range so that is why i picked this up abroad the previous one also was bought from international sephora store so that's the reason i repurchased this foundation again because it is such a good one i use it on my brides for hd makeup i absolutely love it it has that beautiful skin like finish and just gives your skin a beautiful smooth even uh, base i love it even though i have an oily skin type i love this foundation it has a little bit of a dewy finish to it and looks very very beautiful and perfect for bridal wear then i also picked up the one size turn up the base bbb cream uh, so this is patrick star's own brand um, it's called one size and i've got this in the shade dark 1n so this falls in the neutral undertone category so this is not like a very heavy full coverage base kind of a thing it's a very natural everyday subtle um, beauty balm but also has a better coverage than any other skin tints or uh, BB cream. Packaging is a tube packaging but the dispenser is very very unique. I had to take my time and figure out how this actually works. So you've got to press it here and it pops up here. Here is where the dispenser is and you can just squeeze out the liquid from inside and take it out on the back of your hand and put it on your face. But I also feel like it does get a lot more messy around this bit right here. I've got this triple B cream on my skin right now and this particular shade dark one is a beautiful match on my skin right now with my tan. Um, I'm pretty sure without my tan this is going to be slightly deeper but still I can work with it because it's a BB cream it doesn't have too much of a higher coverage but ever since I got this I've been hooked onto this particular 
uh, base product it's very very beautiful on the skin almost looks like a second layer of the skin looks super super natural and doesn't even look like you have product on it's very very beautiful this also has a little bit of a smoothing uh, property so it kind of acts like a filter on your skin i've been really really enjoying it lasts pretty well also on oily skin types it's got a beautiful soft matte finish on the skin i really wanted to pick up their um, setting spray which is extremely popular but again it was out of stock sad story of my life but anyway i've been really really enjoying this particular bb cream then i also picked up a lip and cheek tint from benefit this is their love tint it's a very cute little bottle and it's got a really pretty and cute doe foot applicator so you can just apply it on the cheeks or on your lips very very strong tint it's a red with a hint of pink in it and it's pretty pretty bright and deep so it shows up pretty well on my dusky skin tone just a little touch of this goes a long long way and it's a stain so it's not extremely pigment to an extent that it's very difficult for you to remove the product if it goes a little excess to blend it out it's a very beautiful soft pinched kind of a cheek effect i love it i have it underneath my cat one d blusher today and looks very very beautiful looks like a part of your skin there was also tarte cosmetics in the sephora store so i picked up a shape tape concealer this is in the shade tan deep sand i've also got the shade tan sand which is i think slightly lighter to this particular shade this one is a slightly deeper shade um so this is how the packaging looks like it's a big concealer tube and it's got a beautiful gold and purple cap and the concealer wand is that's how the concealer wand looks like quite big and fat it's a full 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 coverage concealer it's a very creamy formulation sets to a sort of like a matte finish you really need the tiniest bit of this concealer to get a full coverage effect on your under eyes but it's perfect for the under eyes because it just smoothens out the under eye bags and everything cancels out all the darkness it's a really good concealer especially uh, if you're a bridal makeup artist you should definitely have one of these in your kit it comes in super handy and there is this brand called dear dahlia in malaysia sephora's it looks a lot similar to fenty's packaging and everything so i thought maybe it's like a uh, cheaper dupe to Fenty and the sales assistant came to me and told me to just try it and test it out and I swatched one of their eyeshadows and absolutely fell in love with the way they look. I just picked one eyeshadow and I'm kind of regretting my decision because it is such a gorgeous gorgeous beautiful shimmer eyeshadow. I should have picked more shades in this particular uh, brand. But this one is the Dear Dahlia Blooming Edition Paradise Jelly Single Eyeshadow Glitter and this is in the shade Rosy. Literally it looks like Fenty Beauty's packaging with the octagon thing going on. Just look at this. This is Fenty Beauty and this is Dear Dahlia. They look absolutely similar kind of like sister brands if I say so. Looks very beautiful though the packaging. Um, inside you've got the shimmer eyeshadow which is the shade uh, rosy like I said and it's a beautiful duochrome rosy gold eyeshadow topper it's not a proper proper eyeshadow it's kind of like a eyeshadow topper it just glistens like diamonds when the light hits it's absolutely beautiful this is what I have on my eyelids right now and just look at that it's a gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadow topper I really should have picked more shades. do not have anything that looks this magical on the eyes perfect for brides as well because it's so beautiful on the eyes feels extremely extremely rich and buttery to touch i think the best way to apply this on the eyelids is your fingertips because they're going to pick up a lot of product and apply uh, and deposit a lot of product on the eyelids more than brushes so yeah i really really love it i also picked one stila product which is the stila sun and glow liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade kitten kaleidoscope so it's like this pale champagne rosy kind of a color a little bit of pink and purple flex in it here is the shade kitten kaleidoscope more of a cool toned rosy pink shade it's not very very glittery in my opinion um it's like a nice smooth layer of liquid eyeshadow it's not as sparkly as the elf glitter eyeshadows or the swiss beauty ones they are more 
glittery in nature this one is more shimmery not as much of a glittery finish but nonetheless it's a very beautiful liquid eyeshadow i did apply it on my um center of the eyelids today and top it off with the dear dahlia rosy um eyeshadow topper uh, because i really like that particular shade more than this one this one is more cool tone i like a little bit of warmth in my makeup so that's the reason i put that on the top it's a really really good liquid eyeshadow i did not pick up many skincare items from sephora just a few of them so i'll just go through them super quickly so first thing is this is the origins gin zing under eye cream and this is in the shade warm they also had different shades in them uh, but this is the refreshing eye cream to brighten and deep puff it's a cute little orangey container I have seen Kaushal Beauty loving this particular under eye cream so I had to pick it up when I saw it on the Sephora um, counter. This is how the under eye cream looks like. Looks very very rich and luxurious. Very nice fragrance and it's in like this peachy color. I've not used this yet but I'm really really looking forward to use this because Kaushal Beauty loves it. So I trust her recommendation so let's see. Then I got the very famous glow recipe watermelon glow. BHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. It's a very very popular toner in the recent times and look at the packaging. It's a beautiful luxurious glass bottle with a pink tint and again I've not used it yet. I was waiting to show it to you guys on camera and then put it to use. Uh, so let's see how the packaging is. So it's like any other toner bottle you've got a, got a knob like thing and it's very very faintly like watermelon. Really excited to try this one as well. Let's see. I picked this one very last minute at the checkout uh, counter. It was just placed there. So yeah, that's how I picked this one up. I also got the Birds Bees lip balms in two different variants. This one is the Sweet Mandarin. But I'm already using their, I think it's the Watermelon or Pomegranate variant. Something like that. In that I have in my handbag right now. And I absolutely love it. It's a very soft and buttery lip balm let me just show you how it looks like so that's how the packaging is smells very strong and citrusy i've been really enjoying citrusy scents and flavors recently uh, so yeah i wanted to pick this one alongside the watermelon one but it's very rich and nourishing on the lips uh, so if you have a lot of chapped lips this is gonna just repair it overnight if you apply it before going to bed and even otherwise during the day for touch-ups this is amazing and one final product that i picked up from the sephora malaysia store is this really really cute uh set of three beauty blenders this is from the same brand dear dahlia again i picked it from the checkout counter it was just placed right there and i found them to be so super cute i couldn't resist this is how they look like how adorable are these it's got this beautiful uh, marble print all over it. They literally look like marshmallows. They are absolutely cute. This will be perfect to blend out my under eyes or to set the under eyes or even for liquid blushes. This will be great. All come in these different shapes. This one has a little bit of a flatter top and this one is like a egg shaped beauty blender. Feels very soft too so I'm guessing after wetting it, it will become even more softer. So those were all of the items that I got from the Kuala Lumpur Sephora stores. I spent quite a lot of money but I'm not regretting it at all. They were, they were all really really great investment in my bridal kit as well as for personal use as well. I definitely did save up a lot of money before going there and purchasing all these products so please keep that in mind. As I'm showing you all the beauty products in this video, let me show you what other small little makeup items that I bought while I was in Malaysia. These are not high-end brands, they are kind of a mid-range brand. So I got them from this particular shop called Sasa. They had quite a bit of stuff there as well. I picked up a bunch of eyelashes from this particular store. One is this Kiss eyelash. Other one is some other brand called Mishi Blooming. Another one is called Cat's Look. This is what I have on my eyes right now and I absolutely love it. Feels super super lightweight and comfortable. It's very voluminous but a little bit short as well so it's 
pretty pretty wearable i picked up three different uh, products from this brand called peripera i think this particular brand is available on amazon in india i've heard arnakshi talk about this brand a lot on her channel but i've personally not tried anything from this brand earlier so i just picked up a couple of items so one is the peripera ink airy velvet and this is in the shade soft coral and the other one is called ink velvet and the shade is 02 which is like a bright red color i tried to use this during my vacation and it's a very very pigmented product just a tiny touch of this goes a long long way and smells really delicious and fruity as well let me just swatch it here it's a beautiful velvety smooth texture highly pigmented even more pigmented than the benefit um tint that i showed you in today's video so you have to be extremely careful and it's extremely hard to remove it and tone it down as well so we have to be very very careful with the application the other one i've not really tried it yet this is the airy velvet in the shade soft coral it's a very very pretty color again similar though i thought they're kind of different but this one maybe has a little bit of a pink tint to it and that one is more reddish this one's got a different fragrance it's more florally than fruity. Final one is the Peripera Ink Mode Matte Tint, and this is in the shade Oatmeal Rose. And that's how it looks like. It's a different packaging altogether. Oh, okay. Okay, that's how it looks like. Very, very beautiful. It's a more softer kind of a color. Also got this very, very interesting product. You must have seen this in a lot of Korean makeup tutorials and stuff like that. It's basically like a sticker which you put on the crease to maximize your lid space. So I found it very interesting. I've not seen this anywhere in India. So I definitely had to pick this up. Uh, it's just called Natural Eye Tape Series and the brand is, I think it's called Beauty Word or something like that. So yeah. I just got this one. I also picked up this Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation. So basically like a lighter coverage tint kind of a foundation from the Colorstay range. And this is the shade 440 Caramel. Uh, it's not a very close match to my skin tone. An exact match to my skin tone but kind of close. Uh, here is the swatch. This is the foundation right here. As you can see it's pretty light but also bear in mind that I have an intense tan going on on my hand and face right now. So maybe once the tan is off and everything, it will suit better. It's definitely not a perfect match. It is still slightly lighter to my skin tone and feels very liquidy and runny. Again, I've not used this on myself. And one final thing that I picked up from the same shop is this Micellar Cleansing Sheet. Uh, it's basically like cleansing wipes and oh my god, I've been loving these wipes. So this is the wipe here. It's got how many wipes? Everything is written in a different language, so I don't know. I'm guessing there will be at least 30, 25 to 30 wipes in this packaging because similar packaging that you would get in India for a 30 wipe package. So I'm guessing that's the amount of wipe that you get in this particular package. But I've been absolutely loving it. I've not found any wipes that completely removes your makeup on its own without any additional micellar water or cleanser to remove it. But this one just takes off everything in just a single go you don't have to use any other additional um, cleanser or makeup remover along with this i've been really really loving it so those were all of the makeup products and skincare products and everything that i got uh, from malaysia from sephora and the other small beauty store i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this haul some of you also requested me to post a haul video so i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did you know what to do make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel also follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one Bye.